Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we started learning about uh, multi-headed attention. We implemented very basic uh, uh, multi-headed attention where we uh, we created uh, query key and value uh, weight matrices uh, separately. Okay. So in the current implementation, as the number of heads increases, the implementation will uh, get uh, more and more dirty. Like you need to create uh, those many uh, query key and value matrices as many uh, number of heads are there okay also it is quite uh, expensive computation wise so you need to compute the matrix multiplication each and every head separately for example if you have say 32 heads you need to multiply like let us say uh, 32 cross 2 matrix multiplications so in that sense it is not really optimal so that's what we will do we will optimize it further to make it really efficient okay so the first optimization that we will do is here like uh, so what we did is like we simply created new copies of these uh, uh, query key and value matrices another uh, possible uh, way of doing is like we uh, pack all the query and key weights in just one matrix okay so let us see how we will do it so what we will do is we simply copy these weights as so it is now like uh, this is head one and this is now head two okay now let us copy this as well and similarly copy these as well so i am copying it just uh, to show like uh, how it looks like when we uh, create a multi-headed attention in just one query matrix okay so we copy these as well here so now you see like we have two weight matrices this uh, this and if you go down this much matrix is for the h1 and this much matrix is for h2 okay and the same thing we need to do for uh, uh, P and value as well okay and this is for uh, two heads okay okay that's done now we have like uh, all the two heads weight in just one query and key uh, and value matrices okay now what we will do is we will simply remove this head two and here what we have done is like we created a weight matrix that is like uh, heads into head dimension okay so it is like input dimension cross heads head dimension into number of heads okay so we have two heads and the head dimension is three and that's why we have uh, three cross two which is six okay and the same thing we need to do for uh, key and value as well so let's do that now this part is uh, done now what we need to do is we need to change our forward loop, our forward method okay so here uh, we need to uh, do some reshaping and transpose okay so that's where the things get a little tricky so let us first print like what we get so let us change it to q and uh, let us what we will do is let us make it q k and v and instead of these h1s and h2s we will use just one okay and we simply remove the computation of head 2 okay that's all gone okay so now let us first see like how it looks like when we multiply a uh, query with input okay so let us print q print q and let us exit here also we need to change these uh, 
names here as well okay now let us run and see that uh, what uh, query output looks like okay so let us run and see it so if you look at it carefully it is like uh, you have a uh, output corresponding head one here and then output corresponding head two here and this is input one and then we have a uh, output corresponding head one like this much this and this and for head two we have this output okay so first thing we need to do is we need to uh, segregate heads with each other okay so we need to do it using simply um, view method so what we will do is we will simply apply view here let us do that v i e w and what we will do is we will simply need to have batch size which we need to compute let us say we have bs sequence length and input dimension is equal to input dot set okay now what we need is simply to change the view we will need to have bs which is best size and then we need to change it to sequence length and we need to have self dot that we need to have okay so we need to create here self dot let's say equal to head and self dot head dimension is equal to head dimension okay that's done now let us uh, change here so what we will need is self dot heads and self dot head dimension now let us look at how query looks like so let us run and see it again so now what happened is like uh, now we have something like uh, so this is like uh, head one and this is head two and this is again head one head two and so on okay now what we need is simply we need to transpose it to be like this this row is combined with this row and combined with this row this is very important because this will be applied on um all the query key and value output that we will get and also we need to revert it back when we get the final output or weighted values okay when we try to apply the um, unified head uh, matrix on that we need to revert this effect as well so we need to transpose them back to the normal forms okay so what we will do is we will simply transpose one with two okay now let us look at them again like what uh, it looks like so now you see it is very well formed matrices so this is your head one this is your head two for input one and this is uh, head one and head two for input two okay this is quite critical to understand like you must be clear on this part if you haven't uh, 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 looked at carefully go back uh, a little more in the video and see it again okay so we will do the same for key and value as well so we'll simply copy and paste that's done next we need to do is simply uh, apply the uh, query and key transpose and we will get the attention scores and then we apply softmax and then on that when we do matrix multiplication we will get output okay 
and let us see like how output looks like. So I'll just run and see it. So now the thing is we need to do is this one should be with this one. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to convert back this output in the format that we were getting earlier. Okay, so we need to just uh, um, revert back the transpose that we did with query key and value matrices. Okay, so how we will do is we will simply say output is equal to output dot transpose. Again, we will simply say one and two. Now let's look at the output. Print output. Let's run and see it. So now we have the same thing like uh, when we do the um, reshaping. And now we simply we can change it to the same format using view. Okay. So now here it is uh, important to note like when we run transpose. The output we get is uh, non contiguous. Okay. So we have separate videos for both reshaping and uh, uh, transpose, and also on contiguous and non contiguous. What, uh, what does that mean? And why it is necessary to make a tensor contiguous. Okay. So some of the operations like uh, view or transpose, they need to have the input tensor contiguous. Okay. And if I will run a uh, uh, view on this output it will give us an error okay so let us try that it will be an error we know that so what we need is bs and then sequence length and then we need to simply say self dot heads into self dot head dimension okay so we will get an error because this output is not contiguous. But anyway, let us run and uh, see that as well. So see, it also says very clearly like uh, you need to change the tensor to be contiguous, and that we can do simply typing here dot contiguous. Okay, now it should be fine. So see, now we have the output as we were getting without any uh, reshaping and transpose. Okay, now we can simply apply um, our unify heads. Okay, so we need to simply apply a linear transformation on these rows so that it will be converted to actual head dimension. So we can simply call output final is equal to self dot unify heads and we can simply pass output with this and we'll get the output final and let us print the output final as well and see it let us run and see it let us see, uh, let us compare this output with the output that we were getting with basic implementation. So let us see that where that one. So this is our, not this one. So this is our basic implementation. And the output that we were getting is this. Okay. So there is a slight difference, and that is because we haven't disabled here the bias okay so to reproduce it exactly same we need to disable here bias is equal to false okay so what we did is we simply changed the bias so as similar to others we had to change this as well for basic implementation i changed it and uh, reran and saved the output and that's why it was slightly different so that that also i wanted to show so 
SQL Trust Run and see if we get exactly same output. So now if you look at it, it will be exactly the same. You see, 7.39, 7.39, 13.60 and so on. Okay, so I hope that is clear like uh, what uh, we did in case of optimization. So the most important uh, operations that uh, we need to see is mainly these uh, view and transpose things, okay? And then uh, how we uh, revert them back uh, when we are trying to do uh, unify heads operation, okay? So I hope that is clear. If uh, uh, you need to look at uh, uh, more details about um, reshaping and uh, how contiguous and non-contiguous ten tenses we have, look at the videos i will uh, give links in the video description so you can check them out as well so if still that is not clear uh, let me know in the comment section i will try to explain it uh, in 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 somehow whatever doubts you have okay before position embeddings we need to change few things here as well so we haven't applied uh, scaling okay so that we need to do as well but we will do that in the next video because then it is getting quite long video. Okay. So in this video, we will stop here. In the next video, we will continue with uh, adding scaling factor. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next.